Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at a revision of solving equations. So let's start off with a simple linear equation like this, 3x plus 1 equals 13. And to just make sure we're going through the method, although you might spot what the answer to this is quite easily, the method and procedure is really important with these so that when they get harder, we will be able to follow the same kind of approach, especially when we can't just spot what the answer is. So, your aim is always to get x on its own equals, okay? So we need to strip away everything else so that we get x on its own equals. So remember, your equation is like a balance, so anything you do to one side, you must do to the other. So if you have 3x plus 1 is equal to 13, you have got to strip away the plus 1 and the 3 that's attached here in order to be left with x on its own. Now, the 3 that's attached means it's being timesed. So what we need to get rid of is the plus 1 and the times by 3. So it's always going to be easier to get rid of the plus 1 first. Anything that's attached or being multiplied, always leave that till the end. So to get rid of the 1, we need to take it away. And of course, if I take it away on the left-hand side, I need to take it away on the right-hand side. And that leaves me then with 3x. That's gone. 1 take away 1 is nothing equals 13 take away 1 is 12. And then to get rid of the times by 3, do the opposite, divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1x. But if I divide by 3 on the left-hand side, you must divide by 3 on the right. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. Okay, so we're going to try another question. 5x minus 3 equals 27. Okay, so with this one, Again, you want to get x on its own. So we need to get rid of the minus 3 and the times by 5. So in order to get rid of minus 3, we would need to add 3. Because minus 3 add 3 is nothing. And that's what you want. But if you add 3 to the left-hand side, you've got to add 3 to the right-hand side. So what are we left with? We still have 5x. Okay. And on this side, we now have 27 plus 3, which is 30. How do we get rid of the times by 5? Well, you divide. 5 divided by 5 is 1x. But if you divide the left-hand side by 5, you've got to divide the right-hand side by 5. So 30 divided by 5 is 6. Okay, let's try another question. So let's say you have 3 plus 2x is equal to 27. All right. Don't get thrown because it's written in a slightly different way. The order is changed around. We're still going to do the same thing, which is always your aim is to get the x on its own equals. So in order to get the x on its own, we've got to get rid of this 3 that's being added and this 2 that is attached. In other words, it's being multiplied. So the thing that we will get rid of first is, of course, the 3. We always leave anything multiplied or attached till the very end. So take away the 3 from the left-hand side. And if you take away 3 from the left-hand side, you must take away 3 from the right-hand side. That's now gone, which leaves you with 2x equals 27 take away 3 is, of course, 24. And now divide both sides by 2, and we are left with x is equal to 24 divided by 2 is 12. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. If you feel confident, press pause and see how you get on with it. Otherwise, listen and I'll show you how to deal with something like this, where we have brackets. Well, whenever we have brackets, we must always multiply out the brackets, okay? So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do 3 times 2x, which gives you 6x. 3 times minus 1, which gives you minus 3, equals 21, okay? Now, we're left with something like we had before. You want to get x on its own, always. So we've got to get rid of the minus 3 and the 6 that's being multiplied. All right? So we leave that to the end because it's attached and therefore multiplied. We always leave that to the end. So we'll get rid of the minus 3 first. How will we get rid of minus 3 or subtract 3? Well, we'll add 3. If we add 3 to the left-hand side, then we've got to add 3 to the right-hand side. Okay, that leaves you then with 6x equals 21, add 3 is 24. Now, how will you get rid of the 6? Divide by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1x, 
6x divided by 6 is 1x. And of course, if you divide by 6 on the left-hand side, you've got to divide by 6 on the right. So 24 divided by 6 is 4. Okay, let's try another question. Let's try 3 times 2x plus 9 equals 39. All right, press pause if you feel confident to try this one on your own. Okay, 3 times 2x again is 6x, and 3 times 9 this time is a positive 27, equals 39. So multiply out the brackets, and this is what we get. We want to get x on its own, so we've got to get rid of the plus 27, and the times by 6. So it's going to be easier to get rid of the plus 27 first. And of course, to get rid of plus 27, we take it away. If you take away 27 on the left-hand side, you've got to take 27 away from the right-hand side. So what's left? 6x is still there, of course, equals, and now 39 take away 27 is 12 left on the right-hand side. So now to get rid of the 6 that's being multiplied, we divide. If you divide by 6 on the left, you must divide by 6 on the right. 6x divided by 6 is 1x, 12 divided by 6 is 2. Okay, and last question like this, say you have 24 equals 3 bracket 2 minus 2x. Okay, so again don't get thrown because this is written in a different order. We're still going to multiply the brackets and we're still going to try and get x on its own. So 24 equals, first thing we're going to do is multiply the brackets out on the right hand side. So we get 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times minus 2x is minus 6x. Okay, now your aim, remember, is to always get x on its own. Doesn't matter which side it's on, we just need to get it on its own. So in this case, we have to get rid of this 6 here, and this minus 6, which is attached. So that means that minus 6 is being multiplied to the x. Okay, so again, we'll leave that till the end. So let's get rid of this 6. So this is a positive 6. Remember, it's the sign to the left that always tells you uh, what sign it is, okay? And given that there's no sign here, that always implies it's positive. Because if it was negative, it would have to have the minus. So it's a positive 6, and to get rid of a positive 6, we would just take it away. Again, if I take away 6 on the right-hand side of the equal sign, i got to take away 6 from the left-hand side of the equal sign. So... What does that leave me with? 24 take away 6 is 18. That's gone. And what's left here is, of course, minus 6x. In other words, minus 6 times x. Now, how are we going to get rid of minus 6 times x? Well, if the minus 6 has been multiplied to the x, the way to get rid of it is divide by minus 6. Minus 6 divide by minus 6 will give you the 1. In other words, minus 6x divided by minus 6 is 1x. So if I divide by minus 6 on the right, I've got to divide by minus 6 on the left. That gets rid of that, gives you the x on its own. 18 divided by minus 6 is minus 3. Okay, now let's try this type of question. Now, the big difference with this type of equation uh, than the ones we've had before is we have x's on either side of the equal sign. Okay, remember our aim is always to get x on its own. So it's a big problem if we have x's on both sides of the equal sign. So your first step is to get rid of x's completely from one of the sides. And the best tip here, so that you don't get involved with negatives, is get rid of the smaller amount of x's first. So if you have four x's on the left-hand side, and you have only two x's on the right-hand side, it's going to be easier to get rid of the two x's completely from that side. So what I'm going to do is, straight away, I'm going to take away those two x's from that side. Now, of course, in order to keep this equation balanced, if I take away two x from the right-hand side, I have got to take away 2x from the left-hand side, okay? So, what's left? 4x's take away 2x's, leaves you with 2x's. You still have the plus 3 equals. That's gone, because you took it away. But we still have 11, all right? 
And now this is something like we're used to. You want to get x on its own, so you want to get rid of the plus 3 and the times by 2. We'll get rid of the 3 first by taking it away. If you take away 3 on the left-hand side, you've got to take away 3 on the right-hand side. That leaves you with 2x is equal to 8. And now to get rid of that 2, which is being multiplied, we divide. 2x divided by 2 is 1x. And if you divide by 2 on the left-hand side, you've got to divide by 2 on the right. So x is equal to 4. Okay, let's try another question. 2x minus 4 equals 5x minus 19. Now, we've x's on both sides of the equal sign, so that's an issue. And my tip is always to get rid of the smaller amount of x's completely from one side. So if you have two x's on the left-hand side and you have five x's on the right-hand side, this is the smaller amount. So my advice is to get rid of the two x's completely from this side. So we're going to take two x's away. And if I take two x away from that side, I got to take two x away from that side. Now that gets rid of that, but it does still leave a minus four. Five x's take away two x's is three x, and we still have minus 19. Now, we want to get x on its own. Doesn't matter that it's over on the right hand side, your aim is always just to get x on its own on one of the sides. So looking at this side, we have a minus 19 to get rid of from this side in order to be able to get the x on its own, and we have a times three. So it's gonna be easier to get rid of the minus 19 first. So we need to add 19 to get rid of that. If I add 19 to the right-hand side, I need to add 19 to the left-hand side. Now, minus 4 add 19 is 15. And we still, of course, have 3x, but that's gone. Now, to get rid of the times by 3, we divide by 3, and of course, divide by 3. That leaves you with x, and 15 divided by 3 is 5.